Good afternoon from Maryland Media Day here in College Park. I'm Wayne Viner. We've got Bruce Posner. And Bruce, you introduce our special guest. Well, former coach of Virginia Tech, now a star on TV. All right, and that's Seth Greenberg. And Seth, we were just talking about you had some success here at College Park when nobody did. Yeah, we had some. We, well, we weren't the biggest game on the schedule, let's face it. I mean, back we still then, won, though. Back then, you know, obviously, Duke coming to town was a bigger game, but. Uh, and it was a big game for us. Uh, Maryland was a bigger game for us because of recruiting than probably we were for them. But, uh, yeah, we had some memorable games here. Obviously, the most memorable was the Dorenzo Hudson throwing up as he was shooting the free throw. I think we were down like 10-2. And after the court got cleaned up, uh, we went on like a 25 to something run. Of course, Gary accused mm -hmm. me of having Dorenzo well, throw up. Well, you did, didn't you? Call. You exactly. did. You I did. Said, when I rubbed my nose, I said, let it all out, <laughs> Dorenzo. But uh, we, we did have some great games. We had some great games we lost. A game in Blacksburg when the water main broke and right. the game was delayed. We almost moved the game to the practice facility. And Really? Gravis was, yeah, that was Gary's idea. It wasn't my yeah. idea. And Gravis was phenomenal. I think he had 47, 48. Malcolm was good. We knocked down a three to put it in another overtime. And then, uh, you know, when they put that step up ball screen with Gravis and David yeah. Neal on that right side. I, I like the way guard. you still point at the court as though it was happening right now. Yeah, well, I guess in your mind it is. Hey, that Gary was, Gary still talks about his nightmare when uh, Draymond Green. Uh, hey, we're not bringing that up again. No, but no. He still, he, you well, guys never forget Gary's these the best. Yeah. What's the best. your relationship with Gary? We have a great relationship. I mean, you know, Gary coached at American University. My mm -hmm. brother was an American grad, and he was someone that I. Mm -hmm. Had a great deal of respect for how he ran the program, how hard his teams played. I'm just obviously look at the banners, the success that he was able to have, and uh, you know we competed fiercely. We probably were a little bit too much alike in terms yeah. of what we wanted and how we wanted to build our programs. And uh, but we we, enjoy but we have but we have we have a good relationship. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jacklers Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. We enjoyed watching you coach because of that built-in intensity. I, 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 I sometimes miss that in today's game. It's not. As if a, you're not a, passionate, a, how do you expect the people around you to be passionate? It's, it's, it's that plain and simple. So, Coach, let's take a look at this year. You're here to watch Maryland do some homework. Mm -hmm. uh, is Maryland a top-10 team this year? Yeah, they are. I think the versatility of their lineup, I think, is the interesting thing. They can play big. They can play small. They've got shot makers. Mm -hmm. They've got physicality to their team, experience at the point guard position, uh, a potential lottery pick. You need pros. You need shot makers. You need experience, especially if you look at the last three or four Final Fours. Mm -hmm. If you look at the DNA of those teams, those teams' DNA looks very much like this Maryland team this year. So you got to get lucky. But uh, they've got a, they put together a very good roster and uh, – It'll be an exciting year for people here at Xfinity. Compare the conferences in your eyes. I mean, uh, the three big ones, the ACC and the SEC and the Big Ten. You know, it's different. I, I, you know, The hardest thing for Maryland in the Big Ten, and it's almost hard for me to even say Maryland in the Big Ten, is there's still not a familiarity. There's still not those built-in rivalries. I'd say probably the closest rivalry you guys have now is Michigan State. In a lot of ways, the games have been good, that good. But... Um, they're all different. I mean, you know, you think about the Big Ten. I think the Big Ten is more about guys returning. I mean, I don't think you have as many one and dones. SEC probably, mm -hmm. and the ACC. How have does Zizzo get everybody duns. to come back? He gets them to come back because I think he recruits guys that are still works in progress. I mean, now you know, obviously Miles Bridges was an outlier. He could have left, but he had a great relationship with those th that team, and uh, he felt I don't know if he felt the loyalty. Those were his guys, and he wanted a, another year of a shared experience. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, they recruit guys like – he's got Xavier Tillman this year. Now, when Xavier Tillman – I went and watched Michigan State practice Xavier Tillman's freshman year. No different than I'm watching this practice here today. And I turned to Tom and I said, that kid's never going to play for you. Xavier Tillman's going to be a pro now. 
I mean, their ability to, to develop players, uh, I think, is you know Aaron Henry's development. If you look at Josh Langford, he came back because of an injury. Cassius Winston is a little bit like Cowan in that you know uh, he. I'm not sure he's there. Will he ever get there? Tom just does a great job of of figuring out guys that can play for him, and that that's the whole key to recruiting and the key to a good assistant is figuring out who can play for your head coach. When you look at these leagues, you talk to a Wisconsin guy about Wisconsin basketball, talk to Michigan State guys, they talk about the toughness and the grit. When I think of the ACC, when you think of ACC, it was flow, and these guys can fly and the speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, SEC has its own attributes, but. That's something I'm not sure that Maryland still systemically has built into a grit power sort of Wisconsin. I don't know. Effort. They have to be. I mean, you, you know, being different is sometimes good. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, you got to be able to rebound the basketball. I mean, you got to be tough enough to fight through the screens. I think the Big Ten is a very good screening conference. I mean, Purdue is a terrific screening team that runs really good action, comes off screens hard. But, you know, look, let's face it, uh, you know, Carson Edwards, he wouldn't fit into that quote unquote Big Ten player. But, yeah, I mean, look, every, every league is going to reflect the geographic footprint that they're in. Uh, so, uh, you know, look, it is a different style of play, but, you know, Maryland's done a great job of recruiting their geographic footprint. Uh, they have a, a style, and, and Turge has done a terrific job of, of getting these guys to, you know, play well. And, you know, I know the media, quote-unquote media, and fans always want more. And, you know, I, I think about the things that were said about Jay Wright before he won his championship. And you can go right around, you know, through college basketball. Tony, hey, Bell, Gary, you Gary won seven straight six Sweet Sixteens here, <laughs> and he used to be criticized. Yeah, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't, it wasn't enough. It wasn't good enough. You look at Tony Bennett. You know, they lose the one to sixteen. That system you can't win. You can win with any system if you're really, really good at it, and you get a little bit lucky. I mean, think about what happened in Virginia. I mean, play against Purdue. I mean, how does that happen? The three, three free throws against Auburn. So. You know, it's 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 harder than as I, I talk to freshmen a lot of times when I go around the country and speak to these teams sometimes, and I always tell them I said when you were watching college basketball on TV, what'd you think? They all say it was easy. Now that you've been here and you've been in practice, they all said, man, it is really hard. It is really hard to win. Okay. I've got one ESPN question for you. And practice is about to start up here. When did you guys start doing the shows on campus, and how much fun is that? I don't know. It was well before me, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, it is fun. Yeah, you know, it's the close I get to coaching in terms of you're in that arena. And uh, the greatest thing is at the end of the game, I can still taste my food. <laughs> Real quick, Jawan Howard, big shoes to fill at Michigan. That's a tremendous guy to replace. Yeah, but I'll tell you, a great coach. Uh, but Jawan, this isn't a guy that just decided he wanted to coach basketball. Right. I mean, he... He's paid his dues. I mean, he, he, the number of years he worked at for the Heat, yep. that was like dog years. I mean, yeah. so it's not like, well, I, you know, I want to make a couple million dollars a year. I want to coach my alma mater. It's, he's paid his dues, and everyone I've talked to just speaks glowingly about the person and his commitment. No different than what Pat Ewing at Georgetown, his approach to things. Penny Hardaway's obviously had some set, tremendous success. Guys that have paid their dues, they know what they're getting into. Guys that are doing it just because, well, I played at School X and I want to be the head coach there, those usually end up a disaster. Seth, thank, thank you. you so much for being on Turp Talk. The music's playing in the background. We are seconds away from basketball season here. Bruce, take us out. Hey, we're out of here. Check it out on TurpTalk.com. Remember, every Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, Turp Talk on uh, CBS Radio in Baltimore and all our other shows. And Seth, it's an honor to talk to you, my man. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. All right.